Dogs! 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 Call saying she was attacked by two dogs. Apparently the dogs attacked a child. Where are the dogs? Whose are they or what do they look like? They're two pit bulls. I don't care what they do to me and shoot them. I don't care. Whose dogs are they? They're our dogs. My dogs. They're my dogs. Those dogs, those dogs were cuddling with me just before Dax showed up at my house that morning. So Susan and her boyfriend adopted two puppies, a mix of American Pitbull and Staffordshire Terriers. Bro, what? What's good, YouTube, man? Back again with another video. And today we're talking about dangerous crosses, man. As you've seen in the beginning of the video, they were talking about a pit bull attack, even though the two dogs involved weren't even pit bulls, they were mutts. When you mix real pit bulls with other breeds, usually you get dangerous crosses most of the time. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about common dangerous crosses that comes from crossing the American Pit Bull Terrier and other breeds. So y'all knew this coming. First on the list is gonna be bull herders. Now bull herders come from a cross between any bulldog type dog and usually shepherds. But the most common cross is Malinois or German Shepherds mixed with American Pit Bull Terriers. And these breeds some of the most craziest man biters on mankind. Now usually this is a purposely bred dog. So usually they end up in the right hands majority of the time. But sometimes these dogs do end up on the streets and strays and end up attacking people. And they get labeled as pit bulls, which they are not. Next, we have the band dog. Now, the band dog is usually a cross between an American pit bull terrier and some mastiff breeds to give them more agility. These dogs are normally bred for protection work, like you see, and they usually are do well. But see, crosses like this can happen naturally between strays and end up attacking people, biting people, and you know how the story goes. Any dog with a blocky head is a pit bull to the media, even though we know on this channel what a real pit bull is. And there's only one pit bull, and that's the American Pit Bull Terrier. However, these are very good dogs for protection. So if you're looking at getting a band dog, make sure you, you're equipped with the correct resources to be able to train your dog. Now we have this dog right here. This dog right here is owned by one of my friends, and he is a American Pit Bull Terrier rottweiler mix now this dog is a pure man biter and i know he will bite people this is another dangerous cross to look out for while he does look pretty be on the lookout he will bite now next we have your lab mix this is a very common mix mutt and these dogs can be very unpredictable and if you have one of these i advise you to very much put in the time and effort to train your dog now let's stop here and talk for a second now, as you've seen in the first part of this video, I showed you a clip of a documentary talking about how these two dogs are pit bulls because they were mixed with American Pit Bull Terriers and Amstaffs. Now, I want y'all to know those are two different breeds, which means those dogs are mutts, which doesn't make them pit bulls because there's only one pit bull and that's the American Pit Bull Terrier. But I want you to know dogs like that are also known as bully mutts which are among the most common mixes and mutts with American Pit Bull Terriers that are usually very unstable and usually earn Pit Bulls the bad reputation that they get. I also want you to know the use of an umbrella term is very, very incorrect. These dogs are the most common mixes when it comes to Pit Bulls. And I promise you, this, is, this will make up majority, and I mean majority, of the pit bull, quote unquote, pit bull attacks that you hear about on social media day in and day out. Shoot, they even have a hard time labeling these dogs. Look at how they decided and found out what type of breed these dogs were that were that were causing these attacks. How were you able to identify whether these were in fact pit bulls that had attacked these, these victims? That's a great question. Um, it was pretty much by, because the majority of the biting dogs is a either a family dog or a dog known to the family, meaning, you know, mom's boyfriend or ex-husband brings over a dog or grandma brings over a dog. It's typically a dog uh, that the child is familiar with. So you mean to tell me you're not DNA testing these dogs or nothing to try and classify them, but yet you're gonna put them under the name as Pitbull. What you need to do is put all these different breeds in their own classifications, then we can really tackle the problem at its root. But I get it, people make too much money behind the controversy of what's a real pit bull and what's not a real pit bull, and are pit bulls dangerous and are they fur babies? Like I said a thousand times over and over and over again, American pit bull terriers are supposed to be dog and animal aggressive, yet never bite the human hand. However, there are man biters within the breed, but that is not majority of the breed. Majority of the breed is very timid when it comes to people and they are very, very people friendly. 
it's whenever these new breeds came around crossbreeding those breeds with the american pitbull terry created a lot of man biters and people couldn't tell the difference so they started labeling them all as pit bulls but no those dogs are mutts and they should be classified as mutts there's only one pit bull and that's the american pitbull terrier america's lost dog now, I know animal activists are going to come after me when I said that these dogs are aggressive, but they are not aggressive towards people, though. But this is the reason why they need special ownership. But here's what Stratton had to say about mixes. Crossing a bulldog with another breed can be a formula for trouble. For if the breed is crossed with an even mildly aggressive breed, such as the German Shepherd or the Boxer, the offspring is likely to be people aggressive and still have the intensity and power of the pit bull. But that's it for today, man. I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, share this video on social platforms. I'm out, man. Until next time.